Okay, we're making a wind chime. We're going to make holes. We're going to put holes in the bottle tops using a centre punch. And gently applying with the hammer, we have a hole. We will then thread cotton through each to make the wind chime. Wind chimes part two. Okay, so we've got our bottle tops, which Richard has kindly punched holes in for us. I'm sure that over the last month we've all collected plenty of these. So make your holes as Richard did, and now we're going to thread them. Okay, you can if you wish. I did start my first one by using a needle and thread, but you had a big fat needle and then it's quite hard. So I've actually found it's easier without the needle. So all you're going to do is put your thread down through the hole and make a knot. Right, how you're going to do that is the, the string goes through there and pull. Then put another lid on. See anything without the needle? It's just start to thread, to fray rather. So next one on, through there and pull. Next one down. and loop through. So you just keep doing these till you've either run out or you've made as many as you wish to make or make them as long as you want to make them. The cysts starting to get a bit stringy, so there we go. Again, around there and pull. So you keep doing that until you've got all your bottle tops like that, like this, like that. Just make a little bit of a loop in the top for hanging. Also, as well as using them as a wind chime, because they are quite musical, they're very good for hanging around your plants. If you put new plants in or put seeds in, because it will keep the birds away. So you have your own little bottle top scarecrow. So, wind chimes part three. We're going to put them into place now. Use them for wind chimes, use them to keep the birds off our plants and seeds. Okay, so we'll walk down this way to the garden that we prepared earlier. It's a lovely noise, don't they? They're very pretty. We will have one of beans in here, but we haven't yet. I think that should keep the pesky birds off too. 